Welcome to the ACE tutorial. Here we will present the MATLAB ACE toolbox. Firstly, we initialize the ACE simulator in MATLAB. ACE is based on an object oriented environment. DM represents the, defor the deformable mirror class, and here we can see all its associated functions. The function online switches on the deformable mirror. Loop is also an object. Here we can see its associated functions. Next we will introduce the camera control. The camera is initialized by using cam and, and the function online. Next we set the integration time and the gain for the camera. We can monitor the camera by starting the real-time display. Next we will look at the wavefront sensor. We turn on the wavefront sensor by typing WFS online. We can get the center of gravity for each micro lens and then plot it. The phase can also be extracted and then can be plotted to an image. We can also extract the Zernike vectors which the wavefront is composed of. We can also monitor the slopes of the wavefront sensor by starting the slope real-time display. The measured wavefront can also be monitored. To initialize the system, we get the measured slopes from the wavefront sensor and we set these slopes as a reference measurement. Next, we will look at the control of the deformable mirror. First, we turn on the deformable mirror and we start the monitoring of the mirror like so. Before anything else, we reset the mirror. Here we extract the number of actuators of the deformable mirror in order to actuate them one by one. In order to verify that all the actuators are functioning correctly, we actuate each one in turn. Instead of actuating each actuator in turn, we can also send a vector of commands to the deformable mirror. In this manner, we can send whichever sh shape we choose. The mirror can also be controlled using the Zernike mode basis. Here we introduce some defocus in the mirror. And we can verify our modes by getting the phase from the wavefront sensor, as well as the Zernike modes. We finish once again by resetting the deformable mirror. Next we will look at combining all three elements in the closed loop. We turn on the loop like so. 
Here we define the parameters which are used to measure the influence matrix. The influence functions of the deformable mirror are measured by pushing and pulling each actuator in turn and measuring their influence on the wavefront sensor. Then the command matrix is calculated for the desired number of modes. And the Zernike 2 command matrix is also extracted from this. Now we can start the monitoring of the loop. First, we set the reference slopes. Next, we define a perturbation, which is in this case a defocus. And we apply this to the incident beam. After defining the gain, we close the loop to compensate for the perturbation. As we can see on the display, the wavefront is flattened and the resolution is, is improved as the mirror shape compensates for the perturbation. The loop can also compensate for any random perturbations as we show here. To change the properties of the loop, we first open the loop and reset the mirror. Now we can increase the gain of the loop in order to increase the correction speed. Once again we close the loop and as we see on the real time display the correction is much faster. Finally we switch off all the elements of the loop. Thank you for watching.